Hey guys, and welcome back to Trials and Tribulations. In the last part, I was stuck. However, I remembered that there was something that I did not press, and I believe it was here. Uh, let's see here. Um, okay, it wasn't that one. It must have been this one. Uh, there was one thing that I did not press upon. Um, last time, you know, he said he was blinded, and then I asked about the flash of light, but I did not ask about the at-me fighting style. Let's ask about that. What is this at me fighting style? I'm sorry, but that's a trade secret. I really can't say anymore. But, I suppose I can tell you if I absolutely must. The main thing is to put your back to the wall. That way no one can get behind you. That's it? That's the at me fighting style? Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, what about that testimony? It was a very important waste of time. Of course it's important. I've learned a detective's secret technique, after all. Yes, indeed. I'll remember to use it if I ever take a walk alone at night. Why the heck is he eyeballing me like that? It's creeping me out. Now then, witness. We'll go ahead and add that secret inf information to your official testimony. Alright. I put my back to the wall to fight, but the thief's blow landed upon my third eye. Incorrect! It landed upon the back of the head. Objection! Liar. You're a liar. Detective Atme, your testimony is crumbling like a house of cards. What fun is this, Sir Lawyer? What is it truly a pleasure to cross... Oh, wait, what fun this is, Sir Lawyer? It is truly a pleasure to cross swords with you. And now, once again, you have thrown down the gauntlet at my armored feet. I believe this is what you said yesterday. No, the coward must have wormed his way in through the somewhere besides the door. Then my arch nemesis struck me on the head from behind with that gruesome item here. From behind, huh? But just now you just test. Uh, yeah, just now you testified that he struck you on the forehead. I hardly think you could forget where you hit, where you were hit on the head. Irk! It seems uh, I've made another mistake. Detective Atme, that's not the only strange part of your testimony. But what do you mean by that? For example, the very fact that you hid the calling card from the police itself is strange. It's almost as if you were afraid they were going to help with security. Er, Urk? Geniuses such as myself has always been misunderstood. How sad. That's wrong. Objection. To err is human. To forgive is divine. Humans aren't machines. They have souls. Feelings. They live. They die. They love. They hate. And yes, they even make mistakes. Objection. Hey, hold on! It's not as pretty as that. <laughs> Jeez, I'm surprised he didn't smash the cup. Really? What is it like, then? Always chase a riddle down to the end. That's one of my rules. How many rules do you have? This is it. This might just be my chance to turn things around. Mr. Wright, what exactly is it that you're asserting? Very well, Your Honor. The defense asserts that... Um... There's no ace detective. Is a fake. <laughs> this Mr. Atme is a fake. Mr. Atme is mask star to mask you. I think everybody already assumed that. The answer is simple. It's all clear to me now. Detective Luke Atme's true identity is actually mask star to mask you. Yarg! God, I love this song. Order, order in the court! Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? There are too many unnatural parts to Mr. Atme's story. He says he was hiding at the scene of the crime, which is why no one ever saw him there. And then, in his last case, he manages to outperform Detective Gumshoe and the entire police force to miraculously retrieve the stolen treasure. That's because... I analyzed the crime scene data and made an exquisitely elegant deduction. I picked up clues that the police overlooked in order to arrive at a... Oh, please. The explanation is far simpler than that, detective at me. The truth is that you are, in fact, Mask Star to mask you. Kirk? But Mr. Wright, this, this photo, it clearly shows Mask Star to mask you. This security camera belongs to Lordly Taylor Department Store. He shouldn't have been able to manipulate it. He didn't need to manipulate it. He gained access to the warehouse under the pretense of providing security. Then he simply dresses the thief and stole the urn. So, 
the ace detective is actually an ace thief. Is this true, witness? Uh-huh. Yeah! I can't do it. I'm not even trying. Mask, to mask's memo is pure genius, and so am I. Look at me, ace detective. You are very clever to have come to such a conclusion. I am impressed, sir lawyer. W what Witness, you, you're admitting it? N Nick, now's your chance. Yes, time to put the last nail in this guy's coffin. Detective Atme, when you assume the thief's identity... Goto Blend number 102. My personal favorite. But Mr. Goto! The ace detective is actually an ace thief. I smell a best-selling novel. There's only one problem. It simply isn't true. B but Mr. Goto, Mr. Wright has made some very strong points, and I... I will admit my opponent is willing, has woven a compelling narrative out of whole cloth. But it is, in fact, nothing more than a patchwork quilt, Mr. Trite. If this detective really is the thief, then show us the proof of your claim. But it had better be as hot and as perfect as the coffee dripping down your face. Well, Mr. Wright, don't just stand there. This court would like to see the decisive proof you have. Quickly! Huh? Oh, uh, y yes, of course. What's the big rush? Are you alright, Nick? Atme looks pretty rattled right now. I'd like to finish this right now if I can, but can I really do it? The decisive evidence that proves Mr. Luke's at Luke at me is in the f uh wait. The decisive evidence that proves Mr. Luke at me is in fact Mass Star to Mask You is Uh Can I Can I do the court record? Yes, I can. Okay. I was about, I was afraid to press something because I don't remember what the right answer is. I'm fairly certain we don't have anything. If I remember correctly, because I remember, I have played this game before, so I can play a little bit off of memory. I'm fairly certain we don't have it, so I'm going to say has yet to be found. Proof? Of course I... I I've got nothing. <laughs> Just what I thought. A man has to hold his head up high, no matter how bad things get, after all. Ugh. I see. I thought perhaps you had some evidence to back up your assertion. This is no good. I've got to stay on the attack. I'll never get another chance to prove that this guy is the thief. Don't give up, Nick. Think harder and try again. It's no good. I'm just not ready yet. B but are you going to just give up and let him lose this? Or let us lose this? So, you've come to your senses, have you, Sir Lawyer? I... Uh, uh, I can't think of a counterattack at all. It seems the cloud of suspicion surrounding this witness has lifted. Mr. Goto, if you have anything further to add, then... Whoa. Who? Oh, hey. Who are you? That doesn't really matter right now, does it? Miss Delight, what are you doing here? Nicky boy, the thing you've been looking for, I think I found it. You mean, that bag? No, not the bag. What's in the bag? Well, th that's the sacred urn. Nick, it's the urn. Order, order, order. You, madam, that urn, where did you find it? You'll never believe it. It was in the office of Mr. Fancy Pants to Ace Detective. Luke at me. Oh, Desi, you're the best. Ugh, God. All right, Sacred Urn updated in the court record. Sweet. Well, how do you explain that one, Mr. At me? Even you are going to have a hard time weaseling out of this one. Objection. Huh. <laughs> Pathetic. Mr. Goto, do you have something you wish to say? Yes, Your Honor. It simply amazes me how quickly times change. In the old days, a man was to be taken at his word. It's truly sad. You're still denying that Mr. Atme was involved? Before casting aspersions at Detective Atme, consider the young lady here. Your name is Desiree. Desiree Delight. 
Is that correct? Y yes What about it? Huh. <laughs> How charming. The lengths that a woman is willing to go to save her husband is truly inspiring. W what are you insinuating? As the wife of the criminal, you could have discovered that stolen urn anywhere. Including the office of the good detective here. So you found the urn. What does that prove? It certainly doesn't prove where the urn was before you found it. What? I just bought it here from the, de the detective's office. Please, madam. This town is already filled to the brim with lies. Any more could only compound the tragedy we have we've been witness to. You're wrong. I would never I would never do such a thing. Mr. White. Please, Nicky boy, you've got to help me take talk some sense into these people. There must be some way. I've got to prove that urn was actually in the Atme Detective Agency. Uh this file by what I saw. No, Goto would just say I lied, so let's get fingerprints on the urn. Maybe. I can prove where the urn was. By the fingerprints on it. Fingerprints, eh? Oh, come now. I mean, uh, oh, come now. Now you're really making me laugh, Sir Lawyer. Fingerprints indeed. May I go on? Good. Now, it would be perfectly understandable if my fingerprints were on the urn. After all, it was I who was guarding the urn in the first place. In any case, I am always in the habit of wearing gloves, as you can see. So unfortunately, my fingerprints wouldn't be on... wouldn't be evidence of anything. What about it, Mr. Wright? The witness's fingerprints would mean nothing anyway. N Nick, what are you gonna do now? Come too far to turn back now. Yeah, he must have brought the urn back to his office yesterday. And there, I'm sure someone must have left their fingerprints on it. The defense proposes that the fingerprints of this person should be on the urn. Oh, great. Um, let's see, profiles. Mask to mask you. Uh, who would be? Adrian? Uh, wait, it was no one. Right? She scrubbed it down, didn't she? I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. The defense pros look like this person should be on the urn. Uh,. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, I might have to look it up. Because <laughs> I'm just really, really against losing um, health in this game. Uh, let's see. Who would it be? It wouldn't be me. Obviously not Mia, because she's dead. I don't think Maya. I don't think Pearl. Gumshoot, no. Mask to mask you, obviously. Uh, Luke at me. Well, why not mask to mask you? Hello. Let me give you an important piece of advice. The one who keeps a cool head all the way until the game's end is the winner. Let me give you an even more important piece of advice, Mr. Wright. You are not going to win this game with that answer. Oh, come on! It makes sense! Wow, even the judge is making cool, snappy remarks now. D does that mean I was wrong again? <laughs> hmm, the urn was put in the bag and then carried to the detective's office yesterday. That means the person I should be fingering is... The person who left their prints on the urn yesterday at the Atme Detective Agency. Oh! Oh! It's me! Yes! I know who it is. Your Honor, please give me just one more chance. I know who did it. I know who put the fingerprints on the thing. It was me! I know. So what is all this fuss about fingerprints anyway? Mr. Atme, do you recall the events of yesterday? Hey, Nick, come on, open it up. Hey, wait a minute. We can't just open his private property. Don't be such a fuddy-duddy. This is an important investigation. Well, what's in there? H hang on a sec, I'm taking it out now. Whatever it is, it feels kind of hard and smooth. Well, I, hello there! It's true that I didn't get a chance to look at the bag in that time, but... I did touch what was inside. Wh what? Y you touched it? And I remember it very well. It was smooth and hard. Well, er, that was just... 
Your Honor, I'd like the court to examine the fingerprints on that urn. If my fingerprints are on there, then it proves that the urn was in Detective Atme's office. Objection! Well, even if your fingerprints are on the urn, it still doesn't prove when they were put there, does it? Of course it does. Well, what did you say? Not what I said. Not what I said. It's what Adrian Andrews, the person in charge of the exhibition, said. I polished it until it was just about glowing. I thought maybe I could make it look more valuable. If she polishes it that much, she must have removed any and all fingerprints on it. And the only chance I had to get my fingerprints on it was, after that, was yesterday at the detective agency. Detective at me, de at me detective agency. Sorry, I kind of flubbed there. Huh. This blend. Go to blend 107. I've decided. It's a little too bitter after all. Order, order, order. I accept the defense's request. Bailiff, take this urn and... Wait! Wait a moment, Your Honor! There's no need for that. N no need, you say? Precisely. I already know that Mr. Wright's fingerprints are on the urn. But what are you saying? Yes! Finally broken him down. Hee 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 ha 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 hee 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 There. I actually did all of them there. Take a good look, everyone! Unable to find a rival worthy of my genius, I was forced to create one by myself! Here I am, the tragic clown! This guy is nuttier than a fruitcake. You see, it was me all along! I'm the one and only mask star to mask you! Haha, -ha, I hope you all enjoyed my little performance! Hee 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 ha 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 hoo hoo hee hee hee! There. Who laughs like that? Well, Mr. Goto, what's Mr. Atme's condition? He's still in the lobby, laughing insanely, Your Honor. So we can't hear him? I wish I could enjoy the joke as much as he seems to be. Well, it looks like the matter has been settled. I came perilously close to besmirching the record of an innocent young man. Besmirching him with the title of thief. Nick, you were right after all. Yeah, I guess, mis I guess Mr. Delight really wasn't the thief. The court finds the defendant, Mr. Ron Delight... You're wrong! I'm wrong, I tell you! Er, um, I, I mean, not exactly wrong so much, but not exactly not right is what I was trying to say. Oh no, he's not. This can't be happening. The thief, the sneaky, odious thief who's been stealing all the treasures. It's me! I'm him! I'm the one you want! I'm the thief, I tell you! So do it! Pronounce me guilty, please! I don't know what kind of kangaroo court you all think this is, but... Objection! The true identity of the thief has already been proven. Please hurry and pass judgment. What are you talking about? I already confessed. I'm the thief, I tell you. Mr. Goto, don't just stand there drinking coffee. <laughs> hey there, Mr. Thief. Y yes, yes, sir. If you're really a man, then clean up your own mess. I, I am sorry. I'm afraid I just don't have any idea what you mean. If you are a mask star to mask you, then prove it. That's what that means. He, yes, sir, I'll be happy to. He says he'll be happy to, Nick. It's kind of cute. He's 100% committed to his fantasy. <laughs> Good boy. Just remember one thing. A boy only gets one chance in his life to become a man. I, I know that. I, I won't fail, I swear. Okay, then. Talk. We're all listening. Oh, well. Let's all have a listen to this confession. I believe we'll listen to this confession next time. So see you guys then. Yeah, cliffhangers. They're back.